What's going on everybody? My name is Marcel Flores. Welcome to my YouTube channel One Dapper Street and welcome to another Vance styling video. We've got 15 different outfits today. Look number one, we're starting off with a pair of faded green Zara shorts. Up top, a neutral Henley that is long sleeve, pretty relaxed, that is from Rag and & Bone. And then this first look, we have the white leather old school kicks on. So a really simple look, nice and summery. The long sleeve gives it a little bit more fabric to drape. Obviously, if it's too hot for where you are, make this a t-shirt. Even a Henley t-shirt could be a nice look for this, just to keep it really simple for the first look. Number two, we've got a pair of seersucker pants. Absolutely love these. I caught these on ASOS a little while ago. And then up top, I'm wearing a terry cloth polo shirt. That is from Orlebar Brown uh, from the 007 collection. And we're styling, once again, the white leather old schools. So we're gonna do three looks per shoe. And very, very similar in terms of the color combination with the first look. But here, the seersucker fabric is really what makes it a bit more summer appropriate. And then that polo shirt is an ultimate summer essential, especially in that nice, nice terry cloth fabric. Then we've got look number three. Here we have a pair of Uniqlo chinos. They're a nice and slim fit. They are ultra stretchy and really, really light. So even in the summer, you can wear these easily. Once again, like I said, the white old schools in that leather fabric. And up top, yet another seersucker piece. This one is from Canali. It is a tab collar shirt. It's a bit see-through, which, you know, you don't have to take each and every look exactly as they are. It's really just to serve as inspiration of how you can rock this. And this would be a more upscale way to dress these skater sneakers originally um, and make them a bit more fancy. Then for look number four, um, obviously pants are getting a bit more relaxed again. So I thought I'd integrate that into here as well. It's different than in skater culture. It's a bit more of a fashion way to do it. These are pleated green chinos from Zara. Up top, we've got a um, shirt that is from Todd Snyder vertically striped the navy base with the white stripes that goes perfectly with the next shoe that we're styling that is the old school in navy and white canvas so here i could have opted for not a green pant which would have made this look a lot more straightforward you could easily rock this with a pair of light colored jeans and it look great but i thought why not play with that olive color and combine that against the navy a little bit clearly the shirt color inspiration comes directly from the shoes for a very relaxed look number four the next one, we're starting off with a pair of tailored joggers almost. They are really, really stretchy. They're from Zara. This entire look, as of right now, is from Zara. Um, it's a really nice PK polo in three colors. We've got that cream base, then a little bit of navy in there that's really dark. It almost looks like it's black, and then that medium tan almost. And yet again, the Vans Old Schools in navy. Clearly the same thing, playing with that navy and introducing some yellow. For look number six, we are starting with a pair of Zara pants. I really am liking Zara pants recently, as you can probably tell. And then even a Zara shirt up top. Um, we've got uh, like a chambray color for the pants. They are chinos, they're a bit trop crotchy, but still kind of slim through the leg. And then the shirt is a linen shirt, tab collar with a quarter button. And then we're wearing the same band. So in this case, we didn't really go off of the navy and, and stuck with it, but rather we went for a little bit of a lighter blue, still obviously in that blue range. And even the shirt is not a pure white like the sole of the sneakers is. It's more like an off-white, which makes it, I think, a bit more soft overall, the look in a, in a, in a nice and relaxed, summery way. For look number seven, you guessed it, Zara jeans, Zara bottoms all around. These are uh, skinny ripped jeans. I caught those, I think, a couple seasons ago, but they have a very similar pant now. And then up top from AG Jeans, a short sleeved white button down, which I don't wear a lot of white button downs, but for the old school vans in the canvas high top, um, for this look particularly, I thought it worked well. It's a bit of a boxy fit. Once I stand up, you can see it, there we go. Um, it's a bit of a boxy fit, but I like that, especially in contrast to the rather skinny and well-fitting bottoms that I have on. And then I'm not the biggest fan of high school uh, vans. I, I'm usually I get myself a pair of Converse, but I really do like them in this look, keeping it clean. For look number eight, um, arguably my favorite pair of pants right now, for one, because the patchwork looks just absolutely amazing, but two, because the fit is nice. It's not completely relaxed, but it's not a slim anymore. It's definitely more of a, a straight taper. Um, these are from BDG, AKA the uh, Urban Outfitters in-house brand and then I kept it very simple with a tan t-shirt to keep the focus on the pants together with the clean white high tops. I think it's a nice classic look. You can wear a white t-shirt and make this even more straightforward. 
um, and then if you want to fold the pants up or down to show off the shoes more or less in this case we have a raw hem that you can choose to show or not that's really up to you look number eight we've got a pair of <laughs> my god Zara pants no I actually I'm, I'm annoying myself a little bit now these are um, great dress pants that are uh, just really nice and slim so like for a very clean look so this is gonna definitely create a different look than what we had before definitely a lot more um, elevated or let's call it like a bit more chic I guess and then up top we have the Uniqlo rip tank top that is peeking through a Zara printed shirt that's absolutely beautiful I tucked that in and so it's a really nice Cuban like you know vibe um, but the vans kind of make it a bit more street and a bit more wearable then we've got a pair of light colored ripped jeans with a chain on the side and now we are starting to play with color a little bit we've got these yellow old school vans that I absolutely love they are canvas and suede actually the the toe cap is in suede and um, if you watched my last van styling video over a year ago then uh, you saw that style notes there as well really really love the color and then um, with the Zara t-shirt it's a tie-dye t-shirt that integrates um, the onto the white base a little bit of blue a little bit of um, reddish and then also a tiny bit of yellow so that's what I played off of here you don't have to go super yellow let the shoes be the accent of the look and just pick it up very very lightly for a really cool but put together look look number 11 we're getting there double digits we've got a pair of white ripped skinny jeans and once again that unique little ripped tank top and the yellow sneakers that we just had on so you can already see it's a very light colored look and then rather than playing off of the yellow I thought I would complement it with this light blue chambray shirt that is absolutely beautiful I personally like even though looking back at this video doing the voiceover I really really like this look uh, just pure summer um, yes it's layered but it's not gonna be too hot because you have the shirt all the way open and then the shoes just really scream summer it's a nice um, I don't know just a nice highlight to the look for look number 12 Zara pants who would have thought it uh, we've got Zara pleated chinos these are off-white they're a bit high-waisted uh, actually really really like them um, and then up top we've got a Zara this could might as well be a Zara all I'm sorry y'all <laughs> but I hope you're getting the outfit inspiration you're looking for a long sleeve horizontally striped shirt for um, that I then kind of separate from the pants with this uh, woven belt and that creates a nice earth colored look and then tying that in with the yellow I thought actually was a really nice thing to do like I've never really worn yellow shoes like that not that I wear yellow shoes all the time anyway but I think the earth colors really tie in well with that mustardy yellow of the sneakers so I really really love this look moving on to the next one we've got uh, from the Target in-house brand Goodfellow a pair of light colored jeans very simple slim fitting then up top a rose colored t-shirt and these authentic vans in black with some white laces and white shoes so rather than what I'd usually do when I wear black shoes I didn't want to tie it in with a proper black top but you see that on the chest pocket you have a little detail that says New York City it's actually an H&M t-shirt that's available right now I really really like the t-shirt as simple as it is just a pocket chest detail with New York on that was enough for me to tie the black in for the simple look then second to last look number 14 we've got top man jeans ripped gray jeans that uh, obviously are gonna go really really well with these um, authentic black sneakers I think you know keeping it achromatic with bands and like with a pair of vans like this is a very easy thing to do it's probably one of the I mean you know I feel like now if, if my pants were just a bit more loose and maybe not as ripped this would just be a skater look I've got a simple black hoodie on this is not life-changing I'm well aware of that but still it's an I think a great way to rock um, old schools especially gray jeans I feel like gray jeans are often overlooked so that's all I've got for look number 14 and then we're moving on to the last one which we are starting off with a pair of Zara black jeans Wow I am literally amazed I was not aware of this when I shot it um, my boys in London started a brand called as at Mart which stands for free man a really dope brand and I thought I'd include that here with the third outfit that I styled with these authentic sneakers keeping it achromatic yet again uh, keeping it completely black on the lower half and then just playing with this flannel shirt up top that I didn't button all the way it's a nice raw hem which is a great detail then obviously you saw the brand name on my back and um, it is a flannel but it is surprisingly uh, comfortable so I didn't really have to worry all that much about the temperature and that is it guys thank you so much for watching I hope to see you soon with the next video if you like this drop a comment thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you soon stay dapper